Hot 97, hanging out with my brother Chris Brown. Got Tyga kicking it with us. Tyga, I haven't seen you in so long. I know. I Why know. you say it like that? I've seen so long. You've been busy. You're out there. You're getting this mixtape. Now it's an album done. Fan yeah. of a fan. You and Chris put this out. Yep. It's really cute. I was talking about this, and you're like, oh, you're saying cute. But it is cute. I like the theme. You guys look... You know, like you guys are having fun in this. I think it's Turn dope. it up. I think it's super dope. I think it gets hard for your fans when they see like things going on with you and like yeah. you talking about you want to leave cash money. Where are we with that? Are you leaving? Is it in the motion? What has yeah. to happen for this to be yeah. official? It's like a breakup yeah, that I'm you want to be free of. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. You're out of it? <laughs> huh? Are you out of it yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm my own man, you know, but at the end of the day, like I said, I, I got the utmost respect for Wayne, but I think the business just wasn't right, you know, and I, I didn't see my career being able to um, get to the next level, you know, with the, the people around. So I just wanted to do my own thing, you know. And Chris, look hey, at Hey, what's up, You Sam? know what, Chris, I'm not ignoring you. It's just, it's weird. You don't have no drama going on right now. I'm proud That's of you. Yeah, yeah else someone else That's said. a good thing, though, right? That's great. I'm Listen, staying my ass out of trouble. Chris, How about that? I am so proud of you. Thank you. I feel like you wanted to come up here today because you knew you didn't have no shit yeah, I'm going like, on. Yeah, I'm going to see what they're going to say today. <laughs> Nothing to say. I uh, yeah. see it. You're just hanging out. <laughs> Your teeth is white. You're on tour. And I got and I got a shout out to the homie. Enough. You got a shout out to Enough. Look at because... him. He, back there. he said, man, I need some women. Yeah, so come on, the man. Homie DJ Enough on yeah. Twitter and Instagram, ladies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. he, thought, he didn't say women. He said he needs some pussy. Yeah, that's, that's what he, what he said. said. <laughs> to be politically correct. So you guys are on tour, speaking of pussy. There's lots of them out there. Yeah. 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 But Chris, you can't do anything because you and Karuchi are good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But look, my sense already done. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother, so no, he can't lie. But no, you're good. Since, since Listen, me though. Tiger, let me tell you something. Chris loved that girl. Yeah, man. You sure. know he loves she that on, girl. She's on the bus right now. She, Boy, she, she making so don't her. nothing walk on or don't nothing walk off. But like, <laughs> no, get your ass back on this bus. Yeah. The other day when I saw him at the Barclays show, she looked at him and he right away just started talking for no reason was like look i love you i don't know what's going on i just you know i miss you baby you, I was you gotta like, do that sometimes because because you know you know they, you get that look they sometimes need that reassurance. Yeah. They need, we do you, you, you know, gotta be like such a big artist and you yeah, got man. women throwing themselves at you and you know what i mean it's a lot so what's the hardest part for you chris being in the relationship the hardest part honestly is is still is still wanting to have it's trying to keep a monogamous relationship, yeah. but also still wanting to be the 25-year-old sex symbol. Yeah. You know, I, I, that's the only hardest part because at the end of the day, all my music appeals to all my female audiences. Right. But, you know, you go to shows, like you might go to run, walk past Trey Room or somebody room, and you might see about six or seven of them things, and then you like, Dang, I just want to slide in there and just have a couple <laughs> drinks real quick. And, but you know, you I tell my girl about it later. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it's kind of hard. But so, so you know what I do? I just bring them all to my room. Yeah, but Karuchi's there and she's yeah, eyeing so, them. But I've it's, been there and yeah, I've seen. But it's better. This is my thing. I'd rather her see it yeah. than her Hear about something. it. Or hear about it or think of something else. Exactly. Like, I'd rather her see me in a room full of beautiful women, and I can blame that all on my cousins and all of them. You do. You blame boys. it on all yeah, of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, that's they know them girls. Tiger. But I'm really getting my looks in like, yeah. Do you know how many times Chris <laughs> has used me in his oh, shenanigans? Oh, yeah, I've a couple all times. All the time. Hey, Nessa, please call Kate. Tell her. Uh, yeah. All the, hey, they, just tell her I'm with you I'm right really now. with him, though. Like, real, <laughs> like, for real, for real. Like, I'll really be with him. And Chris is on his best behavior. You know? Yeah. But it's just that reassurance, like you were saying. Yeah, because I need, I need a cosign. Because if, yeah, if, sure. if she said, it, then then she'll believe it. Yeah. yeah if if be, the homie calls, yeah. she'll be like, get off the damn phone. She would. be thinking crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen to the music, making nasty and all shit. <laughs> yeah. like, that. like, oh, nigga, you just living like Luke and Doc. Like, <laughs> you going crazy. man, nah, I'm just chilling. That's just the music. You know what I'm saying? the music. <laughs> we used to do that. Oh yeah. No, we ain't too far. I, I mean. Do you miss that life at all? Hell yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't being politically correct now, but I'm, I'm just saying I don't miss it because I love my girl. At the end of the day, I love I love my my woman. So, in the same breath, I like to be able to have fun, and she know I like turning up. So even yeah. if it's not a sexual encounter with females, I just like to be around females. So, so she she that knows when girls come around, she be like, all right, well I know you gonna have them thirsty girls in here. You know, this like is the most 
grown up I've ever seen you in a relationship. I'm proud of you, Chris. No, for Thank real. You. Like, I really am. What makes this relationship so different for you? I think with this relationship, it's just different, man. I think I think different time period make you mature a lot faster. I'm, you know, I'm 25. I can't be the 19, 20-year-old Chris that everybody can pull up, put up with my bull all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of gets old after a while, the same routine. They kind of get hip to your games, your lives, and it don't <laughs> yes. work no more. So you, you got to, they ain't going for it. They get smart. <laughs> they be around. They be like, I know that lie. Yeah, so, I've seen it before. So they be on you. So be you like, used it last week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And you're yeah. a terrible liar, by the way. Yeah, I can't really lie. I, I start looking down, looking away. And but stuff. that's why I think uh -oh. everyone loves you, your honesty, your soul, everything you're doing. I think you just have this mentality of, you know what, I'm going to be me. If you don't like me, it is what it is. Yeah, I can't I can't worry about it because then I, I would have been drove myself crazy, you know? Absolutely. I, so now it's just the point of us just being able to, I would say, culturally shift what we want. Yeah. You know, I think I think it's not a lot of innovators and a lot of creative, you know, people. I think a lot of people are not saying clones, but uh, it's a lot of people that that try to do stuff, but it might not, you know, resonate good. Like it yeah. might just come across like like oh, what was that or whatever. But with me, as far as music, dancing as an entertainer, it always comes authentic. Yeah. Him as an as a rapper, as a lyricist, it comes authentic. So I think when we combine the two. And we're able to show people what we like, our fashion sense, how we like to be able to be looked at. Or, you know, even looking at like the AO video, yeah. or looking at like our old videos when we first originally had snapbacks on before the whole culture of our youth is wearing snapbacks now. You yeah. know, and everybody can say, well, they ain't started. You lying. Yeah. Because <laughs> we started it. You know what, Chris? I've known you for such a long time. Mm -hmm. Why did you gravitate so much to Tyga? Cause you know I don't I don't know Tyga as well, yeah, right? Um, but I know for you you're very selective, you're very picky with the people that you're around. I think as far as our chemistry worked, it just it just was like we were homeboys, like you know, and yeah. it, and it just grew from there. And I just was like, you know, I can trust this cat. Because, it's a genuine friendship. It's yeah, not like it's, a rap it's, fake. Hey, yeah, it's not, get on it's a not, verse. It song. don't got nothing to do with paperwork. It don't got nothing to do with nobody being signed to me or me me being signed to the vice versa. Us getting money together. Like we getting money together because we like each other gener genuinely. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Our music works. We 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 hang out. We cool. So you know, even like during the summertime when I just got out of jail, we, me, him, and Trey. Before we even did the tour, that's how the tour came about. Yeah. Because we was like, "Hey, man, we gonna do a trifecta. Let's do a party at your house on Saturday. Do a party at my house the next Saturday. The next Saturday we do one at Trey house." And we kept throwing like little pool parties. Yeah. And so I was like, "Man, we need to go on tour, man. Let's just do this, man." And it happened. Yeah, and this is work. I love it. So you being his good friend, how? What's the advice you give Tiger when you hear him in the news with everything? And you know the whole situation with Drake. Yeah, see, I give him the worst advice because I, I it's did. It's usually like the other way around. It's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's, let's I'll start. never be in the news like when, that. When he first, when Tiger first opened up and said what he said about Drake, you know, be like, you know what? He didn't talk bad about his music. He just said, hey, that's just not my guy. Whatever. Yeah, like I mean, I'll give you the politically correct answer right now. Right. But the real answer is, you know, homies gonna talk how homies talk. Like, yeah. whatever you're doing, I'm rocking with you. But yeah. as far as like. But you're staying we, out of it. You've been doing a good job by not yeah, I really. Mean, I mean, it's it's well, like like I told I, and we said in another interview. I was just like, yo, man, we not getting no check from talking about dude. Like yeah. we giving him all this pub. Like like if we if we us we, we and it's vice out, versa though. I mean, like, he talked about him on a song as well. Yeah, you know? but but at the end of the day, I look at it like this. I can't keep making these motherfuckers famous. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I I, I I'm responsible for a lot of uh, reviving of careers and. Yeah. Everything else, and I think when I keep talking about somebody, it's just even right now, I'm just making them hot right now because I'm just talking about them. I think it's the music, the culture, and the competitive. Like he gonna everyone get, being competitive. He might give you a different kind of answer, like yo, you know, you know, I just, I just look at it a different way, like. I you guys are something else right a now. A totally different way. Like, it's it's just how I, those guys. <laughs> like, Hennessy talk. That's, I'm going to keep it on it. But yeah. I just, I don't care. Like Tiger, do you love having Chris on your side? Because you just know he's a rider and he's just going to be rocking with you. Yeah, I think, like you said, it's just like a genuine person that's a good friend. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not like, because like this industry, like you said, it's so fake. Like everybody mm -hmm. else is, is, and like half of these rappers and everybody just be weirdos. And they be like, they get money and, you know what I'm saying, they get a little little clout and little fame and then they just think they just this new 
person. But they get but a voice like, too. Yeah, and, and then like, and then that voice is super fake because that voice or yeah. tight. It's just not genuine. You know what I'm saying? Give you an interview just like this, yeah. but then you see us and it's like, uh, no. You know, yeah, because like, I'm—I mean, yeah, I have the Hennessy talking right it's now. It's just so about I'm being like, genuine. You know, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm with the bullshit. You know, <laughs> it's about ge- being genuine. <laughs> but do you, Tyga, see yourself at all? You and Drake having a conversation and like, hey, look, you know, we obviously don't see eye to eye, but you know, I respect you. We just, you know, is there ever a time? Because there, I felt like there was a time you guys were cool. Yeah, we was. I thought we was too. Yeah. But that's the game, though. That's, that's just the game. That's, that's just how you know people can like. You know, camouflage. You in it to win shit. it, or and, you just, you know, you know. You know, and I think sometimes now within our culture, rap music and stuff, people get scared to be competitive and call somebody out. So I think for most, all of us, we're like, wow, they're not scared. I to mean, talk. I mean, if you're doing it in a way to just like get like publicity, and well, that's, no, not most publicity. people do shit like that to get publicity and stuff. Right. And I ain't, I'm, I'm not doing it to get no publicity. And I ain't out here making like. Going on radio stations saying "fuck Drake," "fuck like do it like doing all that." Like, no. I ain't thirsty. You feel me? But I, as a man, I'm gonna say what I feel about a person because I know him personally. You know right. what I mean? It ain't no just like yeah, it's just no real, record, it's just you know be a lot of studio stuff. Studio like, stuff. Like studio gangsters. Yeah. Like like my thing is if 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 you if you're real and whoever I'm not just saying just him in general. I'm just saying in general. In in general, as 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 industry or not, the, I'm in not general. like I'm not trying to be the tough R and B guy. I'm not trying to be hip hop. I'm not trying to be anything else. I'm just real. So it's hard for me to be in this industry for ten years straight since I was fifteen, and then to see. <laughs> buffoonery you know yeah this just go over and my family be like man i'm not trying to hear all that like i'm just tell you the real so you ask me a real question yeah of real course answer. and that's just what it is this is my homie the i album is dope yeah we worked hard on it good music we we perform great our tour is selling out every city we've been in sold out yeah it's amazing so you know what i'm saying I, as far as like Everybody else is just... We got just, the movie we're going to be working yeah, on. There's a them, movie. Yeah, yeah this, them, the album is just the first step. The tour, okay, that's so the first step. explain steps. the movie. See, see, I don't want to get too in-depth yeah. in it yet because that's it's next. still in production. It's still in production, but... Do but, I have a cameo in it? If you want to be... You my sister. And you know what? If I'm not, fuck this movie. I'm telling you right now. I'm, telling, <laughs> I'm not supporting this shit unless... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but what is the movie about? Are you guys in it? Are you guys producing? No, I'm about to say some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe> stop. No, but this... this, this I, I'll give you this this hint of the movie. The movie is basically like, you know, there hasn't been a cultural movie as far as, you know, our generation concerned. Like, you know, your traditional house parties, your your traditional like you got Project X and stuff like that. That's more like mainstream right. culture. But we want to integrate all that and you know be able to have those musical mu- movies that just musical, not musical, but music like, movies right. that kind of really. Like yeah. that, that kind of define the culture of our generation yeah. right now. We don't have a kid in play of our time. We don't have those kind of movies like a uh, 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 a Smokey and Craig. You know, we don't yeah. ha- we don't have that right now. So as far as us, we we want to kind of create that vibe and just you know be able to you know bring so many cameos and just other people in and just have just a great body of work that's fun. That's just a fun thing watching. You know, Absolutely. when you watch it, be like, man, I wish I was in that movie. Or I wish I had fun. Or I wish I was like those and it people. Gives, and, and, and it you know opens the doors for like the culture and like platforms for other new artists that people. I might was gonna not say, you guys are opening doors like with. this. And, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. think people need to see that. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah. So, Tyga, you are also working on an album that Kanye West is executive producing, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a it's dope. Hard. Album. It's dope. Wait, so wait, how did this happen? Did Kanye reach out to you? Did you hit him up? Nah, I just, um, he just told me to come, this was like, like a year and a half ago, he just had told me to come by the studio, and I would just go every day, and, and um, because <clears throat> he was working on his album, mm-hmm. you know, at the same time, and, and he just, uh, he was just like, yo, I'll help you out with your album, or, you know, I know you signed over there, but whatever, I mean, this is, I, I don't think about paperwork, just like how he's saying, you know what I'm saying, it's like, yeah. if you, if you mess with somebody, you mess with them, and you just want to, like, push the brand and like push the culture you know this what is I mean? exciting so, chris what do you good. think about that like this has got to be exciting to see your friend you know looking forward to a happier space yeah no i i, I think as far as as being an artist growth is is what everybody needs you yeah. know you have yeah. to you have to be consistent but but you have to show growth you know you have to maintain a certain level of elevation yeah you know you you can't be stagnant you can't really you know expect the last record you put out the new record has to sound like the last right. record because 
then people might be like, oh, well, I like the last record, but I'm kind of over that last record. <laughs> you know, like even with my music or with anybody's music, Any's, yeah. I think you always have to try to push the envelope or always try to, you know, go on to the next best thing. Because, you know, even though we have an album together, you know, I'm working on my solo album. He has a solo album. And it's, it's going to be like three different bodies of work. Yeah. You know, when you hear me and his album, you hear the music we can create together and the fun, you know, the party and, and, and certain aspects of different emotions that we can evoke from yeah. the actual album. But individually, you'll see you'll see something different from me and you'll see something different from him. Yeah. So, you know, it's just about growth and elevation. So, what did, Chris, what did you think when you heard Kanye when he said his line about, you know, Karuchi, when he talked about you're going to leave Mickey, you're going to end up with Goofy? Mm -hmm. Were I you... Mean, down deep inside where you're like, yeah, CK, see, you need to stay with me, girl. You need to stay with me. <laughs> I know this. Yeah, no, yeah, she streets, knows me, man. but like this, this is my thing. I think, I think for this, the, the, the actual, I didn't take the, the comment out of context. Well, of course. You right. know, cause you know, I'm cool with Kanye, but I think, um, for me, it's, for her, I know, I know that's probably like, well, why they saying my name in the record? I know how she at, <laughs> but, but well, of it's, course, but anyone it's, would, you know, but I, I feel like, if you if you look at yourself as as a great artist or or a big name or you you know if you have an ego which all of us do of course you feel that way yeah. you know and you 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 feel like you're the best person for that person like and I feel like I'm the best person for my girl because I you know I wouldn't want to see it with anybody else but oh we at, know but at the but at the same <laughs> but at the same time it's like where do you go from here you know was, she could so what you're saying she couldn't date with just and regular no, she, could, she probably guy. could find a, a somebody that like a Wall I, Street guy. She, no, I'm not just saying it doesn't have Goofy to be about. Goofy was still a it, big character, but he yeah. wasn't Mickey. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not talking about we're not talking about financially. We're talking yeah. about like just somebody that 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 makes her feel yeah. like she needs to be Special. treated. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like bring the best out of yeah, you. Yeah, know but as far as in that comment, I take that comment because Mickey is your favorite. Yeah, Mickey is you know. That's the you best. so loved it. You're like, yes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, appreciate yeah, you know. me, Kay. And that's, I love that's you, just girl. In a, that's in anybody's situation. Yeah. Like, I think if any man feels secure in who they are and confident in, in what they bring to the table in all aspects, cool. I mean, you can leave me, but you can go down the street and get ten times worse, and then you'll be mad. Yeah. You know, or you gonna get a corny dude. You gonna be, you gonna have, you what gonna, is it with you gonna you be and eating corny cheese dude? You know what? and and. and Listen, other kind maybe of, a corny guy is a guy who's gonna love. Girls someone. don't like corny dudes, man. At the end of the day, you're right. Girls don't like nice guys. I'm I'm super nice and I get by with that. But <laughs> girls girls li like that to a certain degree. They yeah. like they, they, until they get too until you get too nice and then they be like, I'm over. Oh it. yeah, he's just so nice. Like he like when is he gonna tell me no? That's like, my friend. He's nice. Can I just go home? Oh, like, the friends. He's nice. Okay. Oh, is, can I can I can I go have sex with Tyrone? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> why you want Tyrone? Tyrone ignores me. That's why. Uh, it's so. <laughs> like what it, the hell? Isn't it so <laughs> twisted? So there were, for a while there, Chris, people thought that there might have been issues between you and Kanye. You guys are good now. Obviously, we're mm -hmm. you guys. No, nah, me and Kanye straight. Yeah, I'm cool with Kanye. You know, I I don't, you know, as far as like, I, I actually respect him more, and I kind of like over the years just watching him progress as an artist. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of his statements are bold. You know. And, yeah, but that's why we love Kanye. Yeah, but also people hate him too for it. Yeah. But but I feel like, you know, I can respect it because nobody's giving us nothing in this game. Like mm -hmm. it's like you know we don't get layups. Like we put out a record, they might be like that record's trash, right. or that record's great. You know, you it's either or. So it's not promised for us tomorrow. So if our consistency level is that of in the ninety nine percentile, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like you should you should want to take pride in being great. Yeah. You know, it's just how you word it sometimes. Right. Like, and I think sometimes when he words it, people look at him like what the hell why did you say it like that or why did you say that about yourself don't call yourself a god yeah. don't call yourself this you know and and i think they take it out of context because of what he means right um and and one thing about it there's a fine line between insanity and genius and i think you have to be a little crazy to be great yeah and i know i'm crazy so i don't <laughs> care so i, I and i'm great <laughs> at the same time yeah. so it's whatever i agree i think that's why so many of us also appreciate your emotions, Chris. <laughs> Tiger, do you ever 
look at Chris's tweets and be like, damn it, Chris, get off. Oh, he called me. Get off Twitter right now. I'm like, damn, now. nigga, why you do that? <laughs> He's like, you crazy, man. But that's just, that's him, though. I just know how his personality yeah. is, and you know what I mean? He cares. Yeah, that's just what it me? is. So, now, Tyga, you know, I'm sure everybody's been talking about the whole situation with Kylie. So, I have to bring it up. The Instagram post, you know, it was thoughtful. It was nice. You didn't write more to it. You just said, hey, you're the best, dopest person in my life. Mm. You know, your beauty doesn't go unnoticed. Mm. You've been saying that you guys aren't in a relationship. Why extra love you then? Like, why why that post? Do you do it for other friends? No, no, I do it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I speak what I feel in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And if I want to express that, I'm going to express it at that time. Right. If I want to express it later in life, I'm going to do it later. Or you know, I just feel like it's nobody's business. You know what I'm yeah. saying? What if, if I did that to you? Yeah. What would this be Do like? it. Yeah. But what I'm saying, I say that you know on why? I love you, because Nessa. Because you know you're full of shit, sister. Chris. See, no. if I said that, then they what? wouldn't say it. They wouldn't say nothing. But no, because they, no. it's a speculation, Chris. <laughs> Chris, listen, Tiger, Chris, <laughs> both of you guys, go ahead, post a picture up and write, "Oh, Ness is the dopest person." Exactly. They gonna bash you. No, they're not. They're gonna know it's not true. Fuck that, man. <laughs> She a hoe, she's a hoe. They're going to say we they gonna yeah. say, gonna say want that attention. Too. I don't know if you had a chance to look at your phone yet, but TMZ was talking about Kanye and how he spoke about it, and apparently there was an edited part of the interview mm -hmm. when he talked about your situation with Kylie. You know, obviously he didn't want to talk too deep about it, but he mentioned, you know, love is, and then he stopped. And what he stopped. Mean? He stopped. That's what the audio said. We have the audio for you. So, you know, On TMZ, yeah, TMZ. It. So look at your phone. I'm sure they're blowing you up about this. <laughs> Man. Chris, look it. at Chris. You can't even say nothing. Because you know what? I know he wants to defend. Look at him. Look yeah, but, I'm, right, but check this out, though. Something. But look. I know but, you want to finish. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. But, <laughs> but like, Kanye, yeah, yeah. hold us down, player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, hold, hold us down, homie. Kanye, yeah. You black, bro. Hold us down. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, <laughs> come on, man. It's getting rough out here. You got these girls on my line. Be like, ask him. Da -da. And I'm not going to ask him. No, but like, if, if I love her and yeah. I love her as a person, then that's, that's, that's beautiful. Me. I ain't nobody else got to deal with that. Or yeah. That's real, that, though. You know? That's real, man. And you guys have known each other for a long time. Yeah. You know, and I think that's the part that gets hard on a lot of people yeah. is to understand a friendship, yeah. especially, you know, between a man and a woman. Because, you know, I generally got love for Chris. Yeah. I think he's ridiculous. I would never be with him. She's so my I sister, get it. so yeah. We, we, but yeah. I think it's hard for you, Tiger, because they didn't really see you guys being that cool back before, you know. Nah, but what I'm On saying camera. is, the more your friendship grows and, and it keeps growing, you know, what I'm right. saying it's all about a friendship, like, and that's what that's what it is, you know. Yeah. You gotta look at it like this: like we all hung out before. They were saying I was dating Kendall. That's right. right. Like, People say anything. And I did yeah. hit you up about that. Yeah, I was like, and I'm like, that's, that's just our like, homegirls. Like, they cool. Yeah. Like, they just kick it with us. Like, so, like, as, as far as that, I think people just like to attach certain situations because well, it's bigger. Yeah. It's something to talk well, I, about. I, I, yeah, you people said, thrive yeah. off negativity, yeah. one. Yeah. Like, our society has no morals anymore of having fun and positive things to talk about. Right. Like, oh, my God, I'm having a great time with my life. Let me go out and exercise right. instead of being fat and obese. Let me do all this crazy stuff. Let's talk about somebody else's life to make my life feel better. Yeah. You know, you know people people have their morals and their and their judgment completely shifted to what life is about, you yeah. know? So I think I think you know, it's all about how you push forward and how you and how you uh not even a longevity. It's just how you live your damn life. And you know, I think <laughs> I was actually surprised Tiger, that you you know, talked about it a couple of days ago. Like, you know, you just wanted to clear the air. Yeah, I had to because it was like, it's just too much stuff. But do you feel you that know? maybe Amber Rose said those things because she is cool with Black China? Do you feel like, like she was doing her Chris Brown duties for her girl? Like, do you feel? I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, I hold think, on. I, can I say something? <laughs> let, let me talk. Let me talk. Can I say? Because I'm mad, man. Okay, man. Say, I'm wait, mad. What are you gonna say? No, nah, because look, because at the end of the day, it's a, it's a it's a it's a circle of us. All of us are in LA. All of us hang out. <laughs> and I'm gonna let him talk. About, I'm gonna yeah. let him say. I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, so I'm, Chris. Gonna, I'm gonna stop talking after this. But I just feel like nobody should speak on nobody else's situation. I'm not hating on one party or the next because I'm cool with all parties. You're cool. With but Amber what I'm what I'm yeah. saying is nobody should speak on nobody else's situation. If somebody else, if you're gonna try to speak up for somebody else, then they you shouldn't be speaking anyway because they're not bold enough to say what they gotta say. Let them say what they gotta say. 
And then, then it could be aired out. But it's some. I don't think social media or any form of, of of publicity should be your key of why you talking about the next person. If you promoting your stuff, talk about what you promoting. Talk about what you got going in your life. Right. Don't talk about the next person's life because that's that's bullshit. Like, right. It's real bull. Well, like, I was just. I wanted Tiger to have a different look as a girl. Right. That right you, girls, you talk now. You know, know like I'm that. Truly, <laughs> I don't think that maybe necessarily she was trying to completely hit below the belt. I think that she was trying to have her girls back. And I think that maybe... I mean, but, I mean, no, maybe. Maybe that's right. true. You know, they're good friends, you know. Um, and she's entitled to her opinion, just as I'm entitled to my opinion right. in my life. So if, if it's my decision to want to hang around and be with Kylie, that's, you know what I'm saying, or be around her, that's my decision. <laughs> right, absolutely. You know what I mean? And, um, like, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say nothing disrespectful to her because I got respect for Wiz, you feel right. me? And I wouldn't want nobody to come up here and disrespect my baby mama, yeah. so... Yeah. You know? Chris, so everybody should keep it to themselves. You, Chris, grab but, the mic. Let but, me talk but to everybody you. Everybody you want to talk so damn much. Listen. Keep Chris, it cute to put it on mute. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you and you and Wiz are good friends. Yeah, we cool. Was it awkward at all to be <laughs> in the club her. to have her dancing? Look, let me tell you something about that now. Go now, ahead now. I don't know. What, you know how many funny Vine videos there is of that, homie? Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But like, See, look, feel, but look, look, I felt like you hesitated a little. I felt like you're like, uh. I did. I did. But look, this is the thing. With, with this situation, now, as a man, it's friendly. Like, I know I know that wouldn't go anywhere further than that. Absolutely. But as a man, I'll be stupid as hell. What do you know I ain't going to get on that when she dances? She twerking? What? <laughs> Just like everybody thirsting and thought, got they thought ass looking at the uh, Instagram, yes. or shaking it in the water, yes. or shaking it with Wiz music. Everybody sitting there like, right. oh my damn. <laughs> so, I'm going to say no. Yeah. They calling me up on the stage, she want to dance, I'm going to dance. Yeah, yeah you are. But I'm not, I'm, it's not going to go any further Nothing than that. Nothing more, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I got respect, I still have respect for Wiz, although they're not together. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still his baby mama. So me dancing on it is different. That's just like me pulling somebody up. That's like me pulling Kelly Rowland or anybody up on stage and singing to them and performing to them on, at my show. Right. I could grind on them and play around, but I know after that, it's just it's just a part of the show. It's it, entertainment. It is, yeah. So it's, a, it's just like I would never take it to that situation. Hot 97, hanging out with my brother Chris Brown. Got Tyga kicking it with us. Tyga, I haven't seen you in so long. I know. I Why know. you say it like that? I've seen so long. You've been busy. You're out there. You're getting I'm this in. mixtape. Now it's an album done. A fan yeah. of a fan. You and Chris put this out. Yep. It's really cute. I was talking about this, and you're like, oh, you're saying cute. But it is cute. I like the theme. You guys look... You know, like you guys are having fun in this. I think it's turning dope. up. I think it's super dope. I think it gets hard for your fans when they see like things going on with you and like yeah. you talking about you want to leave Cash Money. Where are we with that? Are you leaving? Is it in the motion? What has yeah. to happen for this to be yeah. official? It's like a breakup yeah, that I'm you want to be free of. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. You're out of it? Huh? Are you out of it yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm my own man, you know, but at the end of the day, like I said, I, I got the utmost respect for Wayne, but I think the business just wasn't right, you know, right. and I, I didn't see my career being able to um, get to the next level, you know, with the, the people around. So I just wanted to do my own thing, you know. And Chris, look hey, at Hey, what's up, You Sims? know what, Chris, I'm not ignoring you. It's just, it's weird. You don't have no drama going on right now. I'm proud That's of you. Yeah, saying. some of that That's said. a good thing, though, right? That's great. I'm Listen, staying my ass out of trouble. Chris, How about that? I am so proud of you. Thank you. I feel like you wanted to come up here today because you knew you didn't have no shit yeah, I'm going like, on. Yeah, I'm gonna see what they're Look gonna say you. today. <laughs> Nothing to say. I uh, yeah. see it. You're just hanging out. <laughs> Your teeth is white. You're uh, on tour. And I got and I got a shout out to the homie. Enough. You got a shout out to enough. Look because... at him. He back there. He said, "Man, I need some women." Yeah, so follow come on, the man. homie DJ Enough on yeah. Twitter and Instagram, ladies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. he's not, he didn't say women. He said he needs a pussy. Yeah, that's, that's what he said. He said. <laughs> to be politically correct. So you guys are on tour. Speaking of pussy, there's lots of them out there. Yeah. 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 But Chris, you can't do anything because you and Karuchi are good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, my sense already done. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother, so no, he can't lie. But no, you're good. Sis, sis no, listen, me Tyga, let me tell you something. Chris loved that girl. Yeah, man. You sure. know he loves she that girl. She's on the sure. bus right now. She, Boy, she, she making it so don't nothing walk on or don't nothing walk off. <laughs> like, no, get your ass back on this bus. Yeah. The other day when I saw him at the Barclays show, she looked at him and he 
right away just started talking for no reason. It was like, look, I love you. I don't know what's going on. I just, you know, I miss you, baby. You, you got to like, do that sometimes because, you know, you know, they, you get that look they sometimes. They need that reassurance. Yeah. They need, we hard. do. You, you, you got to be like. You're such a big artist and you yeah, got man. women throwing themselves at you. And, you know what I mean? It's a lot. So What's the hardest part for you, Chris, being in the relationship? The hardest part, honestly, is, is still is still wanting to have. It's trying to keep a monogamous relationship, yeah. but also still wanting to be the 25-year-old sex symbol. Yeah. You know, I, I, that's the only hardest part because at the end of the day, all my music appeals to all my female audiences. Right. But, you know, you go to shows, like you might go to run, walk past Trey Room or somebody's room, and you might see about six or seven of them things, and then you like... Dang, I just want to slide in there and just have a couple <laughs> drinks real quick. And, but you know, you I tell my girl about it later. But, <laughs> but you know, it, it's kind of hard. But so, so you know what I do? I just bring them all to my room. Yeah, but Karuchi's there and she's yeah, eyeing so, them. But I've been there and yeah, I've seen. But it's better. This is my thing. I'd rather her see it yeah. than her. Hear about some, it. Or hear about it or think of something else. Exactly. Like, I'd rather her see me in a room full of beautiful women, and I can blame that all on my cousins and all of them. You do. You blame boys. it on all yeah, of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, that's they know them girls. Tiger. But I'm really getting my looks in like, yeah. Do you know how many times Chris <laughs> has used me in his oh, shenanigans? Oh, yeah, I've a couple times. All the time. And that's a please call Kate. Tell her. Uh, yeah. All the, hey, the, just tell her I'm with but you I'm right really now. with him, though. Like, real, <laughs> like, for real, for real. Like, I'll really be with him. And Chris is on his best behavior, you know? Yeah. But it's just that reassurance, like you were saying. Yeah, because I need, I need a cosign. Because if, yeah, if, sure. if she said it, then, then she'll believe it. Yeah. yeah if if be, the homie calls, yeah. she'll be like, get off the damn phone. She would. be thinking crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen to the music, making nasty and all shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're like, oh, nigga, you just living like Luke and Doc. Like, <laughs> you going crazy. man, no, I'm just chilling. That's just the music, you know what I'm saying? just the music. <laughs> we used to do that. Oh yeah. No, we ain't too far. Well, I, I mean, do you miss that life at all? Hell yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't being politically correct now, but I'm, I'm just saying I don't miss it because I love my girl. At the end of the day, I love I love my my woman. So, in the same breath, I like to be able to have fun, and she know I like turning up. So even yeah. if it's not a sexual encounter with females, I just like to be around females. So, so she she knows That's when true. girls come around, she be like, all right, well I know you gonna have them thirsty girls in here. You know, this like, is the I, most grown up I've ever seen you in a relationship. I'm proud of you, Chris. No, for you. real, like I really am. What makes this relationship so different for you? I think with this relationship, it's just different, man. I think I think different time period make you mature a lot faster. I'm you know, I'm 25. I can't be the 19, 20 year old Chris that everybody can pull up, put up with my bull all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It kind of gets old after a while. The same routine. They kind of get hip to your games, your lives. And it don't <laughs> yes. work no more. So you, you got to, they ain't going for it. They get smart. <laughs> they be around. They be like, I know that lie. Yeah, so, I've seen it before. So, so they be on you. So be you like, used it last week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're yeah. a terrible liar, by the way. Yeah, I can't really lie. I, I start looking down, looking away. And but stuff. that's why I think uh -oh. everyone loves you, your honesty. You're so, everything you're doing, I think you just have this mentality of, you know what, I'm going to be me. If you don't like me... It is what it is. Yeah, I can't. I can't worry about it because then I, I would have been drove myself crazy, you know. Absolutely. So now, so now it's just the point of us just being able to, I would say, culturally shift what we want. Yeah. You know, I think I think it's not a lot of innovators and a lot of creative, you know, people. I think a lot of people are not saying clones, but it's a lot of people that that try to do stuff, but it might not, you know resonate good yeah. like it yeah. might just come across like like oh, what was that or uh, whatever but with me as far as music dancing as an entertainer it always comes authentic yeah him as an as a rapper as a lyricist it comes authentic so i think when we combine the two and we're able to show people what we like our fashion sense how we like to be able to be looked at or, you know even looking at the, like the ao video yeah. or you looking at like our old videos when we first originally had snapbacks on before the whole culture of our youth is wearing snapbacks now. You yeah. know, and everybody can say, well, they ain't started. You lying. Yeah. Because <laughs> we started it. You know what, Chris? I've known you for such a long time. Why did you gravitate so much to Tyga? Because, you know, I don't, I don't know Tyga as well. Yeah. Right? Um, but I know for you, you're very selective. You're very picky with the people that you're around. I think as far as our chemistry worked, it just, it just was like we were homeboys. Like, 
you know? And, yeah. it, and it just grew from there. And I just was like, you know, I can trust this cat. It's a genuine friendship. It's yeah. not like it's, a rap, it, fake, hey, yeah, not, get on a not, verse. It don't got nothing to do with paperwork. It don't got nothing to do with nobody being signed to me or me me being signed to vice versa, us getting money together. Like, we getting money together because we like each other genera- genuinely. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our music works. We, we, we hang out. We cool. So, you know, even like during the summertime when I just got out of jail, we, me, him, and Trey, before we even did the tour, that's how the tour came about yeah. because we was like, hey, man, we're going to do a trifecta. Let's do a party at your house on Saturday, do a party at my house the next Saturday. The next Saturday, we do one at Trey house. And we kept throwing like little pool parties. Yeah. And so I was like, man, we need to go on tour, man. Let's just do this, man. And it happened. Yeah, and it just worked. I love it. So you being his good friend, how what's the advice you give Tiger when you hear him in the news with everything, and you know the whole situation with Drake? You see, I give him the worst advice because I I it, did. It's usually like the other way around. It's the other way around. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's I'll start. never be in the news like when, that. When he fir- when Tiger first opened up and said what he said about Drake, you know, be like, you know what? He didn't talk bad about his music. He just said, hey, that's just not my guy. Whatever. Yeah, like I mean, I'll give you the politically correct answer right now. Right. But the real answer is, you know, homies gonna talk how homies talk. Like, yeah. whatever you're doing, I'm rocking with you. But yeah. as far as like, but you're staying we, out of it. You've been doing a good job by not yeah, really. I mean, I mean, it's it's well, like like I told, I, and we said in another interview, I was just like, yo, man, we not getting no check from talking about dude. Like, yeah. we giving him all this pub, like. Like if we if we us we, we and it's vice versa we though I mean like, he talked about him on a song as well yeah you know? but but at the end of the day I look at it like this I can't keep making these motherfuckers famous yeah you know what I'm saying I I, I I'm responsible for a lot of uh, reviving of careers and yeah everything else and I think when I keep talking about somebody it's just even right now I'm just making them hot right now because I'm just talking about them I think it's the music the culture and the competitive like he gonna everyone give, being competitive he might give you a different kind of answer like you know, you know you know I just I just look at it a different way like I you guys are music. something just, else right a now a totally different way like it's it's just how I those guys <laughs> like, Hennessy talk that's, I'm gonna keep it on it but yeah. I just I don't care like Tiger do you love having Chris on your side cause you just know he's a rider and he's just gonna yeah. be rocking with you yeah I think like you said it's just like a genuine person that's a good friend you know mm-hmm. what I mean it's not like cause like this industry like you said it's so fake like everybody mm-hmm. else's is, and like half of these rappers and everybody just be weirdos and they be like they get money and you know what I'm saying they get a little little clout and little fame and then they just think they just this new person but they get a voice like, too yeah and, and then like, and then that voice is super fake because that voice or yeah. tight it's just not genuine you know give what I'm you saying? an interview just like this yeah. but then you see us and it's like uh no you know yeah because like, i'm i mean yeah, it's, I, that's the hennessy talking right it's now, just so about I'm being like, genuine you know, with, you know what i'm saying I'm with the bullshit you know <laughs> it's about ge- being genuine <laughs> but do you tiger see yourself at all you and drake having a conversation and like hey look you know we obviously don't see eye to eye but you know i respect you we just you know is there ever a time because there, i felt like there was a time you guys were cool yeah we was i thought we was too yeah but that's the game though that's, that's just the game. that's, that's the just game. how you know people can like you know, camouflage. You in it to win it or you just, you know. You know, know, and I think sometimes now within our culture, rap, music and stuff, people get scared to be competitive and call somebody out. So I think for most, all of us, we're like, wow, they're not scared to talk. I mean, if you're doing it in a way to just like, get like publicity and well, that's no, not most publicity. people do shit like that to get publicity and stuff right. and i ain't I'm, I'm not doing it to get no publicity and i ain't out here making like going on radio stations saying fuck drake fuck like do it like doing all that like no. i ain't thirsty you feel me but I, as a man i'm gonna say what i feel about a person because i know him personally you know right. what i mean it ain't no just like yeah it's just no real, record, it's just you know be a lot of studio stuff studio like, stuff like studio gangsters yeah. like like my thing is if, if 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 you if you're real and whoever i'm not just saying just him in general i'm just saying in general in in general as 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 industry or not the, i'm in not general. like i'm not trying to be the tough r&b guy i'm not trying to be hip-hop i'm not trying to be anything else i'm just real so it's hard for me to be in this industry for 10 years straight since i was 15 and then to see <laughs> buffoonery you know yeah this just go over in my family I'll be like man i'm not trying to hear all that like i'm just tell you the real so you ask me a real question yeah of real course answer. and that's just what it is this is my homie the i album is dope yeah we work hard on it good music we we perform great our tour is selling out every city we've been in sold out yeah it's amazing so you know what i'm saying I, as far as like 
Everybody else is We got just, the movie We're gonna be working yeah, on There's a movie Yeah, we yeah this the album Is just the first step That's the, the tour okay, so That's the first step Explain the movie See, see I don't wanna get Too in depth yeah. in it yet Because That's it's next. still in production It's still in production But Do but, I have a cameo in it? If you wanna be You my sister You know what If I'm not Fuck this movie I'm telling you right now I'm, telling, I'm not supporting this shit Unless I, I'm, kidding, I'm no. kidding But what is the movie about Are you guys in it Are you guys producing No I'm about to say Some crazy <laughs> shit <laughs> Baby, stop no, but, <laughs> Stop you know, but this, 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 I'll, I'll give you this this hint of the movie. The movie is basically like, you know, there hasn't been a cultural movie as far as, you know, our generation is concerned. Like, you know, your traditional house parties, your yeah. your traditional like you got Project X and stuff like that. That's more like mainstream right. culture. But we want to integrate all that and you know be able to have those musical mu movies that just musical, not musical, but I music like, movies right. that kind of really. I know. Like yeah. that, that kind of define the culture of our generation yeah. right now. We don't have a kid in play of our time. We don't have those kind of movies like a uh, 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 a Smokey and Craig. You know, we don't yeah. ha we don't have that right now. So as far as us, we we want to kind of create that vibe and just you know be able to you know bring so many cameos and just other people in and just have just a great body of work that's fun. That's just a fun thing watching. You know, Absolutely. when you watch it, you be like, man, I wish I was in that movie. Or I wish I had fun. Or I wish I was like those and it people. Gives, and, and, and it you know opens the doors for, like, the coaching and, like, platforms for other new artists that people I might was going to say, you guys are opening doors like with. this. And, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. think people need to see that. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So, Tyga, you are also working on an album that Kanye West is executive producing, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a dope. It's, it's dope. Wait, so wait, how did this happen? Did Kanye reach out to you? Did you hit him up? Nah, I just um he just told me to come this was my like, like a year and a half ago. He just had told me to come by the studio and I would just go every day and, and um <clears throat> cuz he was working on his album. Mm -hmm. You know, at the same time and and he just uh he was just like, "Yo, I help you out with your album or you know, I know you signed over there, but whatever. I mean, this is I I don't think about paperwork just like how he's saying, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. if you if you mess with somebody, you mess with them and you just want to like push the brand and like push the culture you know this what is I mean? exciting so, chris what do you good. think about that like this has got to be exciting to see your friend you know looking forward to a happier space you yeah, know I, I i think as far as as being an artist growth is is what everybody needs you yeah. know you have yeah. to you have to be consistent but but you have to show growth you know you have to maintain a certain level of elevation yeah you know you, you can't be stagnant you can't really you know expect the last record you put out the new record has to sound like the last right. record because then people might be like, oh, well, I like the last record, but I'm kind of over that last record. <laughs> you know, like even with my musical, with anybody's music, Any, yeah. I think you always have to try to push the envelope for always try to, you know, go on to the next best thing because, you know, even though we have an album together, you know, I'm working on my solo album, he has a solo album, and it's, it's going to be like three different bodies of work. Yeah. You know, when you hear me and his album, you hear the music we can create together and the fun you know the party and, and and certain aspects of different emotions that we can evoke from yeah. the actual album but f individually you'll see you'll see something different from me and you'll see something different from him yeah so you know it's just about growth and elevation so what did it. chris what did you think when you heard kanye when he said his line about you know karuchi when he talked about you're gonna leave mickey you're gonna end up with goofy mm -hmm. were I mean, you down deep inside where you're like yeah ck see you need to stay with me yeah. girl you need to stay with me <laughs> I know this. Yeah, she streets, knows me, man. but like this, this is my thing. I think, I think for this, the 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 actual. I didn't take the the comment out of context. Well, of course, you right. know, because you know I'm cool with Kanye. But I think, um, for me, it's for her. I know, I know. That's probably like, well, why they saying my name in the record? I know how she act. <laughs> but but well, of it's, course, but anyone it's, would. You know, but I I feel like. If you if you look at yourself as as a great artist or or a big name or you you know if you have an ego which all of us do of course you feel that way yeah. you know and you 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 feel like you're the best person for that person like and I feel like I'm the best person for my girl because I you know I wouldn't want to see it with anybody else but oh we at, know but at the but at the same <laughs> but at the same time it's like where do you go from here you know was, she could so what you're saying she couldn't date with just and regular no, she could, average she probably guy. could find a, a somebody that like a Wall I, Street guy. She no, I'm not just saying it doesn't have Goofy to be about. Goofy was still a it, big character, but yeah. he wasn't Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not talking about we're not talking about financially. We're talking yeah. about like just somebody that 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 makes her feel yeah. 
like she needs to be Special. treated. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like bring the best out of yeah, you. Know what what I'm but as far as in that comment, I take that comment because Mickey is your favorite. Yeah. Mickey <laughs> is, you know, that's the, that's the you best. You so loved it. You were like, yes, you know what see, I'm so I'm like, appreciate yeah, you know. me, Kay. And that's, I love that's you, just girl. In, that's in anybody's situation. Like, yeah. I think if any man feels secure in who they are and confident in, in what they bring to the table in all aspects, cool. I mean, you can leave me, but you can go down the street and get 10 times worse, and then you'll be mad. Yeah. You know, or you will get a corny dude. You be you have you. What gonna, is it with you, you be and corny dude? You know what? And, and, and <laughs> Listen, kind of, maybe a corny guy is a guy who's gonna love. Girls someone. don't like corny dudes, man. At the end of the day, you're right. Girls don't like nice guys. I'm I'm super nice and I get by with that. But <laughs> girls girls li like that to a certain degree. They yeah. like they, they, until they get too until you get too nice and then they be like I'm over Oh it. yeah, he's just so nice. Like he like when is he going to tell me no? That's like, my friend. He's nice. Can I just go home? Oh, like, the friends. All nice. right. Okay. Oh, is, can I can I can I go have sex with Tyrone? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> why do you want Tyrone? Tyrone ignores me. That's why. Uh, it's so <laughs> like what it, the hell? Isn't it so <laughs> twisted? So there were, for a while there, Chris, people thought that there might have been issues between you and Kanye. You guys are good now. Obviously, we're mm -hmm. you guys no, me and Kanye straight. Yeah, I'm cool with Kanye. You know, I I don't, you know, as far as like, I, I actually respect him more, and I kind of like over the years just watching him progress as an artist. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of his statements are bold. You know. And, yeah, but and, that's why we love Kanye. Yeah, but also people hate him too for it. Yeah. But but I feel like, you know, I can respect it because nobody's giving us nothing in this game. Like mm -hmm. it's like you know we don't get layups. Like we put out a record, they might be like that record's trash, right. or that record's great. You know, you it's either or. so it's not promised for us tomorrow. So, if our consistency level is that of in the ninety nine percentile, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like you should you should want to take pride in being great. Yeah. You know, it's just how you word it sometimes. Right. Like, and I think sometimes when he words it, people look at him like. What the hell? Why did you say it like that? Or why did you say that about yourself? Don't call yourself a god. Yeah. Don't call yourself this. You know, and, and I think they take it out of context because of what he means. Right. Um, and, and one thing about it, there's a fine line between insanity and genius. And I think you have to be a little crazy to be great. Yeah. And I know I'm crazy, so I don't <laughs> care. So I, I and I'm great <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. So it's whatever. I agree. I think that's why so many of us also appreciate your emotions, Chris. <laughs> Tiger, do you ever look at Chris's tweets and be like, damn it, Chris, get off. Oh, he called me. Get off Twitter right now. like, damn now. it, why you do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you crazy, man. But that's just, that's him, though. I just know how his personality yeah. is. And you know what he mean? cares. Yeah, that's just what it me? is. So, now, Tiger, you know, I'm sure everybody's been talking about the whole situation with Kylie. So, I have to bring it up. The Instagram post, you know, yeah. it was thoughtful. It was nice. You didn't write more to it. You just said, hey, you're the best, dopest person in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, your beauty doesn't go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. You've been saying that you guys aren't in a relationship. Why extra love you then? Like, why why that post? Do you do it for other friends? No, no, I do it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I speak what I feel in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And if I want to express that, I'm going to express it at that time. Right. If I want to express it later in life, I'm going to do it later. Or you know, I just feel like it's nobody's business. You know what I'm yeah. saying? What if, if I did that to you? Yeah. What would this be Do like? it. Yeah. But what I'm saying, I say that you know on the phone. I love you, because Nessa. You know you're full of shit, Chris. No. See, if I said that, then they what? wouldn't have said they wouldn't have said nothing. But no, because no. it's a speculation, Chris. <laughs> Chris, listen, Tiger, Chris, yeah, both of you guys, go ahead, post a picture up and write, "Oh, Nessa's the dopest person." Exactly. They gonna bash you. No, they're not. Cause they're gonna know it's not true. Fuck that bitch, <laughs> I bet you she hopes she did. They're gonna, they gonna, they gonna say we. They're gonna yeah. say they gonna you say we want that attention. I don't know if you had a chance to look at your phone yet, but TMZ was talking about Kanye and how he spoke about it, and apparently there was an edited part of the interview mm -hmm. when he talked about your situation with Kylie. You know, obviously he didn't want to talk too deep about it, but he mentioned, you know, love is, and then he stopped. And what he stopped. Mean? He stopped. That's what the audio said. We have the audio for you. So, you know, on TMZ, yeah, TMZ. It. So look at your phone. I'm sure they're blowing you up about this. <laughs> nah, Chris, look it. at Chris. You can't even say nothing. Because you know what? I know he wants to defend. Look at him. Yeah, but, not, but check this out, though. But look. I know but, you want to finish. I'm going to let you finish. Yeah, I'm going to let you finish. But, <laughs> but like, Kanye, yeah, yeah, hold yeah. us down, yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hold, hold us down, homie. Kanye, you yeah. black, bro. 
Paulus <laughs> Dekker. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, come on, man. It's getting rough out here. You got these girls on my line be like, ask him. Da-da. And I'm not going to ask him. No, but like, if, if I love her and yeah. I love her.